When do we have the room until? It's, it's uh, 12? Te technically 12. Okay. All right. Well, let me uh, run through another one then. Um, this one I've posted on Facebook before, but uh, it, it's a little bit difficult for me to do properly because in my head, when I wrote it, it goes at breakneck speed, which means nobody can understand anything I say. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm, I, I actually write more for sound than sense, as, the, as Lewis Carroll would say, take care of the sound and the sense will take care of itself. And uh, so, uh, but it turns out that other people like to know what words I'm saying. So <laughs> we'll see if I can like give this enough room to breathe, uh, mostly by breathing. Uh, this is called uh, Girl with a Blog. She compulsively tweets every meal that she eats, and she Instagrams the menus and the food and receipts, and she tags us all to join her every time she's going out for drinks. I'll religiously read her when there's posts in her feed, and yeah, I'll follow her, but not as far as this could lead, even though I sort of like the things she sees and hears and reads and thinks, because I've clicked all those links. I really think so, but I shouldn't fall in love with a girl with a blog, with a girl with a blog, with a girl with a blog. I shouldn't fall in love with a girl with a blog. All the secrets she shows, all the th thoughts she'll disclose, I forget that there's a side of her that nobody knows. All the fascinating facets that her Facebook friends have never seen. Now she's put up a list of all the people she's kissed, and it isn't that she, it bothers me, and it isn't that it bothers me that they exist. But I need to stop imagining I'll see my name appear on screen, if you know what I mean. And what I mean is that I shouldn't fall in love with the girl with the blog, with a post with a pic, with her out with her dog. I shouldn't fall in love with the girl with the blog. And I know it's only in my head, and I know it's better left unsaid, and it's better left unread, and it's better left for dead, and I know. Because after all, if we dated, it might get complicated when our evenings out and little jer jokes get regurgitated, when our stories get reorganized and sanitized and sliced apart. And I could deal with it better not to read about upset her, how I used to understand, but now I just don't get her, what she's writing when we're fighting, what she's, how she's saying how I've broken her heart when she's broken my heart. Don't let me start because I shouldn't fall in love with a girl with a blog. Not with a girl with a blog. Not with a girl with a blog. I shouldn't fall in love with a girl with a blog. <laughs>